right on schedule. Apple just dropped iOS 18.6 beta 3, and this is exciting, not for the fact that we're getting a new beta, but more so that we are now finally close to getting a public beta to fix the much needed issues with 18.5, since somehow, surprisingly, we never got an 18.5.1, which leads us at this point to believe that this will be the next build, and this is what Apple is focusing all their attention to for a public release before iOS 26 obviously comes out with all of those new features. So let's take a quick dive into this. We'll make this video as short as possible. Jumping into settings, general, and about, you can see this now carries a full build number of 22G5073B. The B is sig uh, significant simply for the fact that we are almost at a stable public release since we're at the beginning of the alphabet finally. And again, this should be re released probably in the next couple weeks to the actual public, not just as far as a public beta, but a full on release. And one thing I want to do too, before we continue to jump on, iOS 18.6 beta 2 was actually very cool to the touch. So I want to run a quick heat check. And as you can see, nowhere on the device are we actually hitting over a hundred degrees. That is amazing, especially considering how hot these phones have been getting and especially ones running iOS 26 betas as well. So that's good to see. These betas also in size have significantly dropped from the initial one in beta 1 of 7.11 gigs to 444 megs to this version right here being 420 megabytes. So that's a good sign that they're making the final touches and everything should be good to go. We did get a new modem build on the prior beta on beta 2. Nothing new here. We are still going to be on 1.04.02. And then obviously, like I said, I'm not anticipating any new features here, but what I can tell you is just how smooth everything has been running. And as you can see right here, we haven't had any hiccups yet, and it is still going through its background reboot process, getting everything up to speed. So definitely looking good here, and that is definitely nice to see. Assuming again that there's not a lot of new features here since iOS 26 is in beta and all that attention has went to that, this is definitely more of a security fix update and all of that. And if you jump into the release notes, let's see if this has been updated yet. And of course it's not at time of recording. However, if you've been following along, these updates on release notes have been terrible and they've said nothing new, in which we know is not the case considering that everything else in here wouldn't warrant an update if there was something new. This is from beta 2 where you can see there are no new release notes for this update. How do people know what to test if Apple's not giving us that info? They need to let us know so everyone can submit that through the feedback app and get everything going. One thing I can tell you if you've experienced issues with Wi-Fi on 18.5, as of beta 2 on 18.6, everything has been solid, connectivity has been great, and I've had no issues with this at all. And it's one of the first betas in a while that has been very, very strong to use and very consistent for a beta. I will go ahead and run this benchmark test and we will compare it exactly to beta one and two to see if there's any improvements here also. And the test just finished running. And as you can see here, historically from beta one, two and three, we have some slight improvements here for the single core score reaching now 3182, which is a slight improvement and a multi core score now hitting 7808 rather than 7706 from beta two. Again, this has been very smooth and had no issues. So Geekbench is kind of referring that and reconfirming that exact feeling, even though you won't see some of those minor changes in a day to day usage, most likely. Another thing I want to show you is the iPhone storage that we've been talking about. And you can see now beta three for 18.6 iOS is taking up 18.1 gigs, 11.82 are part of iOS. And then Apple intelligence has kind of stayed firm around six gigabytes. So there you go as far as that goes as well. And then more importantly, let's talk about the release schedule. So we are obviously in July, midway through July, almost already on the 14th here. And we are assuming we will get the first public beta coming soon in the next day or two, as well as for iOS 26 as well, if you've been waiting on that public beta. Then after that, beta four could either come on the 21st 
or 28th, depending on when Apple wants to go to our re weekly release schedule that we are used to seeing. Again, I'm kind of under the impression we should receive that around the 21st next week, and then most likely a public release at the end of July. So helps on the way, guys. If you have been experiencing all of those issues and are waiting to get off of 18.5 and say, see you later, it is coming very close. And then obviously we can anticipate possibly one more beta for 18.7 in August. And then obviously everything will be moved to iOS 26 in September, probably around September 8th when the actual new iPhones and Apple Watch will be released somewhere around this week. But that's it for this one, guys. Let me know, how's your experience with iOS 18.6 beta cycle been? Again, much better than what you would expect from iOS 26 for obvious reasons, but that's where we're at right now. Let us know. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.